The following program contains views that are not those of WVTC, iNetworks Communications, their subsidiaries, affiliates, or financial supporters. Good morning, and welcome to our show, Oils Behind Closed Doors, where we're going to share you some awesome information about doTERRA essential oils. And not only that, we're going to give you some other tidbits about health. And we are known as Four Visions for Oils. My name is Brenda Maxey. And we have Jonetta. The data. And we also have, that's not here with us today, our Ruth Conwell and Regina Rucker. But as we talk about doTERRA and uh, what they do, they have a theme for us this year, and they're working on uh, us having the power to be what we want to be in 2023. So as we talk about that power to be in 2023, we're reaching out to you, and we're going to help you to be what you want to be in 2023. So before we get started, I'd like to start off with the scripture, and the scripture is, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thou soul prosper. And that's found in 3 John 1 and 2. Yes. And our disclaimer today is that the information that we're sharing with you is not meant for diagnosis or treatment. This presentation is meant to provide you with information for you to review and consider. Please feel free to share this information with your healthcare provider. And of course, if you have any questions, please contact us at fourvisions4oils at gmail.com. Thank you. And okay. our next scripture today is, and God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. This is Genesis 1.29. Okay, so as we go to our next slide, and I do apologize and thank when we transition our slides to the show, they kind of get a little messed up sometimes, but just pray with us and uh, we hope we get you, you get the full understanding of what we're talking about to you today. Now, yes. it, it, we're celebrating several things this month. We're celebrating Valentine's Day today. Yes, it's happy heart Valentine's health. Day. <laughs> yes, happy Valentine's Day. It's Heart Health Month. And not only that, it's Black History Month. Yes. So today we want to share information because it's very important, the heart. So we're going to talk about the heart as being a viable part of our living today. So Ms. Jonetta, go ahead and give us some information. Well, let's just start with do heartbeats about 2.5 billion times over the over your average lifetime, pushing millions of gallons of blood to every part of the body. To me, that's amazing. That muscle yes. is really working hard. This yes. uh flow of blood, it carries throughout your body, your oxygen, fuel, hormones, and other compounds that is needed for your essential cells. And yes. it takes away the weight. Okay? Yes, and it Powerful also... Muscle. It can also, um, what causes it is caused by a lack of a poor, well, poor diet and a lack of exercising and yes. smoking and some of the diseases we get because of the things we eat and uh, or the environmental threats that are around. 
And they say our genes, unlucky genes, but I'm believing that God, even with unlucky genes, God has the final say, and we could change those around too as well, if it is his will to do. That's right. Yes. That, so That is so true. Yes. And some of the things that we can uh, help do, like you said, is change our eating habits, which would help with high cholesterol, mm -hmm. high blood pressure possibly even diabetes and reduce the risk of other types of diseases. Right. But we have and, to make that choice. Right. So there's a name to all of that. Um, the name is uh, called arthros arthrosclerosis. When we have those pockets of uh, cholesterol that's building up inside our arteries and the plaque and that's what it does is limits the flow of blood through our, our, our body. And uh, without that, it can cause heart attacks and strokes as well. And we're hearing this because of um, a lot of things we're doing, our health, our lifestyle that we're doing now. There are more people with cardiovascular disease. And they're getting younger. Yes, because our kids, are, and I, I think I mentioned before, our kids are no longer going outside to play anymore. We're sitting in front of the TV with our Xbox or whatever those games are called. We're sitting in front of the TV with those games all the time uh, and, and no exercise. Back in the day, what did we do, Miss Janetta? What did we do back oh, in the day? Oh, we played hopscotch. <laughs> you know, yes. we was jumping double dutch and playing tag. And yeah. Playing, <laughs> running around the block. Right. You know? <laughs> And riding, riding bikes. bikes. Yeah. Oh, man. Remember the street skates? The oh, sidewalk yes. skates. Yeah. Kill yourself on them things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so these kids are not doing that stuff anymore. Not it's all, all in front of, yeah. And it's not even watching TV shows. It's just playing those games. And that's what we do. And then on top of that, their lifestyle of what they're eating. They're eating things that are not healthy for them. We eat those Cheetos and... Uh, corn chips or whatever it is, <laughs> bologna sandwiches. And oh, well, they don't like bologna, they like ham, I think. But yeah, they eat all those different lunch meats and things, oh, yeah. which is putting all that cholesterol into, into their body. Yes. So, uh, you want to tell, tell them what are some of the symptoms of poor heart health? Well, with some of the symptoms, you have like chest pains. You can have chest tightness, chest pressure, and discomfort. They have a word for that. That's angina. And with these symptoms, it is, to me, I would be, like, on my way, like, yesterday to the doctor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You would have shortness of breath. You could possibly have, and maybe a pain in the neck wouldn't cause you to think, but if you got pain in your jaw, your throat, in your upper belly area or your back, I mean, think of what we're doing to our body. You may mm -hmm. have pain and numbness or weakness or coldness in your legs or your arms. And this happens when your blood vessels in those body areas are narrowed from the cholesterol and the plaque. Right. Well, well, guess what, you guys? I know it all sounds bad and and uh, and kind of depressing, but guess what? We can improve our heart health, and yes. we're going to share with you ways that we can do it so that we won't be exposed to those heart attacks and strokes. And guess what? A bad heart is also. Uh, part of the reason why we have some of our chronic diseases going on in our body. And uh, I like the one you, what, that commercial you told us about, Janetta. What was it? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. This is a heart talking to its person. Okay. So be man, woman, whatever. And the heart is telling the person, you know, you used to check in on me from time to time. 
some, you know, we would go to the doctor. But now you 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 don't check in. You're not doing anything. You're mm-hmm. you're not even eating healthy. And so the heart pauses, and he says, "You know, when I stop, you stop." That's right. That's right. So when our heart stop, that's something to really think about. I really like that commercial because it makes us focus on what we need to do in regards to taking care of our heart. So what do we need to do in order to live a healthier, have a healthier heart? The first thing is exercise because your heart is a muscle. And like all the other muscles in our body, in order to strengthen those muscles, you have to exercise. So That would mean getting up off the couch. We're going to take baby steps. Walk around the block a few times. Mm -hmm. Okay? Get a friend to go with you. Family member. But you got to start. If you are one of those that like to go to the gym, go to the gym. Drag somebody to the gym with you. Right. Exercise at home. And you could even partner up at home. Exercise that you could do at home mm-hmm. that you share with us. Oh yeah, I do. It, it's even a it's a ten minute cardio workout that I do uh, because heart condition runs into my, our family. So I just want to make sure I am starting to move more and uh, get that heart muscle mm-hmm. stronger. So. It's a 10 minute cardio workout. And believe me, it is a 10 minute cardio workout for real. I mean, you really uh, (laughs) are sweating in that. And see, if you can't do it, if you don't have a partner around in the area, back in during the pandemic, what we did, we had a Zoom class. Remember, Janetta? We did a Zoom where we all got on together. I think it was about 15 or 20 of us. We got on Zoom Mm -hmm. and we did an exercise program. And we had so much fun laughing and joking and also getting a workout at the same time. So there's always a way you can do it and you can make it fun and you can be creative with it as well. So the next, yeah, the next part uh, that we need to do is quit smoking. For those of us that smoke, we need Mm -hmm. to really quit smoking. Because we know and we've heard it, and maybe this time we'll really hear it, smoking contracts your blood vessels. And that causes Mm -hmm. problems with our respiratory. You know, you can't breathe. You get up to go to the bathroom and you're out of breath. That's not right. Right. So, and we have to stop and think about it, just even spiritually. Our Heavenly Father gave us this temple, and we're polluting it. How can we ask the Holy Spirit to come speak truth to me, and it's smoky? You, a smoker, don't even want to go into a smoky place. (laughs) Right, right. And then not only that, when you talk about smoking smokers, you're uh, when you're smoking around people, the people around you are getting that same what aroma, right. aroma or whatever. So you're it's called a secondhand smoke. So they you, you put those people's lives into danger <laughs> as well. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At risk, danger. Yeah. So that's why, and it's not good because uh, it can cause many diseases. Smoking can cause many diseases. And they have some commercials oh, that will almost make you want to quit smoking. It's not an easy job. It's not easy to do neither. It, it is so, not. You know, no, some people. Mm-hmm, so and, and doTERRA has oils that can help you through that process as well. Yes, because, we yeah. And uh, uh, I remember you talking about uh, how people were using those patches, but you're still putting something that's not good back into your body. Back into trying the body. To, mm-hmm, trying to stop smoking. So we've got ways to do it, and that's to more healthier. It. Yes. And around you, you have to be consistent with it. 
Right, right. So uh, the next other thing we got to learn to do, we need to eat more healthy foods. Foods, uh, if we want to yes. uh, change our heart condition, and we have to pull away from a lot of those unsaturated, those saturated fats. And yes. what else do we? What the else do we need to fries. pull away? Mm -hmm. We need to pull away from those French fries. You know the milkshakes, going to a uh, subway and getting the latest crave on it. Sandwich. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, the I thing I like about so wait a minute. I like, yeah, it is processed, but I like to eat, and people think I'm nuts, but I love the veggie sandwich. I used to just make go in there and have to make me a veggie. Exactly. Veggie without the okay. cheese. Yes, without the cheese. Yeah. And that is they, the, they do that's make the only way. Veggie. Yeah, that's the only way you should eat the uh subway. The veggie yeah, yeah, because all that processed meat is not really good for you. Not at all. And get the whole wheat bread. Don't get the specialty breads. Right. Because those breads have cheese in them. Yes, and sugar, and sugar, and and, and other things in it that we don't need in it. So, so we're going to talk about some of the things that you do need to put on as we always do. You know, it may sound like we're being repetitive, but that's the only way you do it. You we have to be repetitive in what we're saying so that you understand and not only that, you're you're kind of condition your mind to want to do it uh mm -hmm. at a later yes. not, if not now, maybe later. But maybe later. Mhm. Mm we got to put more what? Leafy greens on our plates more leafy greens on the plates you need what else do i need like avocados mm. you know oh they avocados are so good <laughs> yes they are good i love them i just had a veggie sandwich the other day speaking of avocados and i uh, put some on my plate you we also need seeds and nuts in our diet that is a health that is the healthiest way to get the oils the fatty oils that we need mm -hmm. right right now those those are the main things we need we need that those leafy greens those avocados the and the, and the seeds and some healthy fruits on the plate but we'll talk about that also so the first one People talk about fish as being, right. this is what heart health says, fish. Okay. So what do we think about the fish, Mr. Janetta? The fish, okay. I know we got a couple of items that we're definitely up for debate. And fish to me is also falls in that category. It is a healthy thing when you can catch your fish wow i guess but you run into the problem of the environment and the high mercury the one thing i've <laughs> and this is getting back into the spiritual the bible tells any sea animal that has scales mm -hmm. and then when you look at it medically the scales protect the fish from gathering that extra mercury slick skin fish have do not have that protection so your tuna your salmon are scaly fish your catfish that we love are not mm -hmm. your that we love are not <laughs> yes they love it to death love it, but you're right not healthy for okay. us so think of it in those terms think about go to uh, Leviticus, I cannot remember the exact chapter, but it is in Leviticus, yes. and it talks about the scaly animals to eat. Right. And so, not only that, see, uh, salmon, they tell us to eat salmon and tuna more if it, you eat it, but of course, we're at risk because of our environment today. That's why it's kind of still questionable, but if you should eat the fish, Make sure it is wild caught. 
And then at that, make it only two times at least a week because it's going to help lower your blood pressure and your cholesterol at the same time. Right. Okay, oats, oats, yeah, Miss Janetta. Okay, your oats, the oats are really good and you can find different ways to eat them and you just don't have to throw them over in the pot <laughs> with the boiling <laughs> water. Make you some overnight oats. They are packed with fiber. And it's really simple. A cup of oats, old-fashioned oats. A cup of milk. Maybe a couple of tablespoons of yogurt. Some maple syrup. Some cinnamon. Mix it all up. Flaxseed. Put it in the refrigerator. And it's ready for the next day. And it's really tasty. And it is good. Yes. Yes. So that will also help lower your cholesterol. And you get some fiber from it. And it will protect your heart, of course. Okay. So now the berries. Oh, the berries are awesome. Guess what? Add some berries to your overnight oats. <laughs> mm -hmm. with, the, with your berries, you're getting... Um, your ana anata um uh, ana oh. anthocyanins. I think Thank that's how you, you say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting tongue tied there. Yeah. That gives the berries their color, be it red or blue. That, those colors promote heart health. And I love to mix them together. I love to see the blackberries and the red berries, there is the blue like berry. the strawberries. Yes. And the blueberries together. They are so pretty together. Yes, they are. Mix and now, now the, right. So the next one is dark chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate, yes. but, but not oh, Hershey's, yes. Hershey's candy bar or well, Hershey's can you well they do have a dark chocolate well, though. They do have a dark uh -huh. chocolate, but you don't want milk chocolate. That's what it is, yes. Okay. You don't want milk chocolate. And today, of course, is Valentine's Day. So uh, if yeah. you're going to cheat, do reach for the dark chocolate. Try to cheat. There you go. And let's not eat up the whole box. <laughs> And one time, right? <laughs> yeah, because exactly. you're going to get fiber. Yeah, you get fiber and protein in the chocolate. Yes. So, which is great, great thing. So, potatoes. Oh, man. Our poor potatoes, they get a bad rap. They do. And they are actually very healthy. They're high in potassium, which we need. They also have fiber which is going to lower your blood pressure and it lowers your risk for heart disease. Potatoes are good, but we mess them up. See, we go and get the butter. We go and get the sour cream and the cheese and we pile it up. There goes that good, healthy potato. <laughs> the potato gets the blame. Not fair. Right. And if you just have your plain potato and, and uh, with some herbs and spices on it, and you said, um, what is it? Uh, nutritional yeast, if you like cheese like oh, I do. Yes, if you like yeah. the cheesy flavor, sprinkle some nutritional yeast, a little salt and pepper, you know, very and good. There you go. There you go. So the, the potatoes are full of potassium and fiber, and it can help lower your risk of blood pressure. So take all that other stuff off and just enjoy that potato. And those French fries, put them in uh, the uh, oven or in the air fryer. Air fryer. That's right. Okay. Now legumes. Our legumes. I'm being glad I live mm -hmm. by myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that saying? Beans, beans, the more eat. Yeah, well, we won't go there. Right. But they're good for you. <laughs> yes. But they are very good for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, they 
are. They have fiber, your vitamin Bs, C. And those of you that are wondering, how am I going to get nutrition if I, if I start skipping on the meat? You get your vitamins through the vegetables and fruits. Exactly. And the beans that you eat, your black eyed peas, you know, you and get creative with it. Make a bean salad, you know. You've seen three bean salads. So change up the beans. Maybe you don't like those three beans. Mm -hmm. Use the beans that you like. Right. Create uh, your own bean salad. Yes. Now the next one is tomatoes. So tomatoes, tomatoes. are Go ahead. Oh, contain potassium, which is great for the heart uh, and lyco lycopene in it and an antioxidant that is associated with helping to lower that bad cholesterol and lower our risk of health, heart attacks. Heart attacks. Oh. So those tomatoes are awesome. Okay, tell okay. us about our nuts. Tell us about our okay, nuts. Okay, now our nuts, you know, we we keep telling you they are healthy because you do get your fiber and you have vitamin E and you also get your omega-3 uh, fatty acids. But nuts, you eat them in moderation. Also, depending upon your health condition, you may or may not be able to add nuts to your diet. So right. this is something you will have to discuss with your doctor. That right. is a must. Yes, yes. Okay. And you okay. can walnuts, pistachios, peanuts, nuts. <laughs> Good for the heart too. So the next one is up. Go ahead. Is it on one of our debate lists? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the the oil, the olive oil. That's on our debate list. And the reason it's on our debate list because uh, one of those programs we uh, talked about recently when we were talking about the oils, you got to remember oil is incorporated. We eat a lot of processed food. So now you got oil yep. in all those processed foods that you done ate. And now you're going to eat a healthy food, a salad, and you're going to put olive oil and vinegar on it, or you're going to cook <laughs> with the olive oil on some natural foods. Now you're adding mm -hmm. more oil to it. And what was that comparison they did with the oils, olive oil? They oh, compared it to lard. And lard has less saturated fat than the olive oil. Yes. Interesting, isn't it? Isn't okay. It? Yes. But Heart Health Association is saying olive oil is good for you. And um, it helps protect, they say, it helps reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes. So uh, be, be careful and be wise on how you use your olive oil exactly. or, or any oil, period. And be uh, be wise about choosing your foods because a lot of those processed foods already have oil. Now you're getting oil. too much oil in your body and it's going to cause heart attacks. Exactly. Coffee. Yes. The next one is coffee. Oh, my, one of my favorite drinks. Mm -hmm. And again, it is, like you say, up for debate. Yeah. Because some doctors say it can help lower your risk of heart attacks. Then you, on the other hand, you do have a lot of doctors, if not all of the doctors, agree that caffeine constricts your blood vessels. So just how healthy is coffee? <laughs> yeah, that is one we have to be debatable about too. But we do have what we call alternative coffees. If you go to the health food stores, there are some alternatives and are, I'm telling you, they are great. Okay. If I just don't feel, you know, I used to drink coffee occasionally, but I never mm -hmm. really felt that it did what everybody says it does for me. It, it, exactly. it woke me up or it gave me, I was just drinking it. And I, I didn't it, feel it, like it. Exactly. I think what happens, well, for me, because I was using it as, along with my cigarettes, as a diet aid. Okay. I 
build up my caffeine tolerance so high that, like you said, it, it didn't do anything for me. I could drink right. a cup of coffee and turn over and go to bed. Okay, I drank it like hot. Right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And so that's not good. No, not at all. Not at all. So we share with you so many foods that you could possibly add to your diet or your lifestyle change. We're not saying diet. Sometimes I let that word slip out, but that's not what it is. We're trying to change our lifestyle to be healthier. Now, if you could pull up the slide where we have all those foods on it, the tray, this is what we've been doing uh, on our team. Um, with doTERRA, our team. Yes. We do what we call the charcuterie boards. And this yes. is where you can make, you know, it's kind of like those uh, platters you buy in the stores, but mm -hmm. here we're doing it on like, uh, it's a charcuterie board or it's either what you call um, a wooden, a wooden uh, tray. Wooden tray, cutting, cutting, board. Cutting, cutting board, wooden cutting, cutting board. And mm -hmm. we just, arrange foods and make creative foods. I meant to add one on there where they took bell peppers and they uh, made them into a choo-choo train. It is oh, so, so cute. cute. So <laughs> cute. Because, you know, I still say we eat with our eyes first. So if it looks good to you, then you want right. to eat. This is a That's vegan. Right. Yeah. These are vegan trays that we put up in front of you. So this is what I've been doing, actually. Um, my husband's probably going to eventually shoot me because what I do is fix this for our <laughs> dinner. This is our right. dinner. I just decorate it with different fruits and vegetables and different uh, nuts or nuts and uh, also uh, dips uh, right. or dressings, dressings and dips. And these are all healthy so that we're eating all the natural foods that we we need to eat. And also I want to eat more raw anyway. So this is encouraging me to eat more raw. You could even put your beans in there. You put your nuts, you get, you're getting a balanced meal literally from these plates. So this is what I recommend that we try to do. So when we go to the next slide, we want to start showing you some things that are healthier for you uh, to help you. doTERRA products that can help you uh, improve your heart. So you want to uh, tell us about Elaine Elaine? Yes. Elaine Elaine. You know, it's noted for its ability to calm the heart, bringing down that blood pressure and your heart rate when you are extremely stressed. How awesome is that to have an oil yes. that you can just inhale like that and it sort of just calm you down without having to take uh, our Western medication to calm the nerves. Mm -hmm. Something that might just get you hooked. Right. <laughs> or cause other side effects. Uh, right. Exactly. Some of the side effects. And I found some information on that's what I'm doing on um, Elaine Elaine that I wanted to share a little bit with you. It's also good. See, that's what I like about our oils. You can purchase them for one thing and then something else will crop up and you'll be looking through and go, oh, I got that. I didn't know I could use it for that. Yes, you could use Elaine Elaine also to uh, help with your equilibrium. If you're slightly off, off balance, it will help with that. Your emotional balance, you know, again, it, it takes you from um, being stressed to calm. So yes. I do like that, Elaine Elaine. Right. And like uh, she said, uh, our oils are multitask oils. They will uh, <laughs> combat a lot of different 
things that are going on in our system. And Elaine, what's good about Elaine, Elaine, we could use it aromatically and topically internally, which we will give you more information about that later. And it is also used mostly a lot of times in our perfumes. Mm -hmm. But the grade that they use in perfume yes. isn't the quality that we're using here. So, but Elaine Elaine is an oil that is also used in perfumes as well. Perfume. So yes. if you have that hypertension, a hypertension from stress, as you see down there, it says rub a single drop of Elaine Elaine between the fingertips and inhale for at least a minute and then mm -hmm. keep Keep repeating. So this is going to help yep. with those heart issues. Yes. Our next oil is, the next slide is going to show our next oil, which is Cypress. Cypress. Okay. Give us a little info on Cypress there. Okay. So Cypress, I love Cypress. Okay. Um, diffusing Cypress can reduce that systolic blood pressure level. And it, uh, it also reduces our heart rate and de decreased the parasympathetic nervous system while increasing the sympathetic nervous system activity. And these are all positive signs for our heart. Stress on the heart is reduced while its vitality and functions are increased because we got to get that stress out of heart, out of the heart, off the heart. Yeah. Uh, so the heart rate uh, variability, which is HRV, has been shown in a number, a number of studies to reduce the risk of death from cardiovascular events. So it's good to use this Cypress. And keep, increased HRV means the heart is beating stronger and more responsively with respect to its need. Now, Cypress is good. That, that's, so that's helping with that circulation flow throughout your body. Right. I was just getting ready to say if you Cypress <laughs> is a good oil, if you're having poor circulation, yeah. you could actually apply it to the area that feels cold to you and um, to in restore that uh, circulation. So you said a key word. So when you're feeling uh, having circulation problems in that particular area, that per particular area is cold. Yes. So, so that's how you tell you're having circulation issues. Now, with Cypress, we could only use it aromatically and topically. Correct. Okay. Now, you want to tell us about basil? Ah, basil. our next one. Our next slide is basil. Oh no, it isn't. It's marjoram. I'm sorry. It's marjoram. I skipped. I apologize. Okay, no problem. It's mm -hmm. marjoram. Okay, for those that have visited the show and seen me on a few times, you know I love to cook. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> marjoram <laughs> is um, one of the oils I like to use. So in using your uh, marjoram, that means I'm improving my uh, cardiovascular system helping with my heart and didn't even realize it <laughs> mm -hmm. and something else just smelling the marjoram is studies have shown that it lowers the sympathetic nervous system activity so I'm getting ready to go in my kitchen when we get through and open my bottle of marjoram and inhale me a deep breath of it. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And and what's so great about these oils is when you compare them to those herbs that you have in your kitchen, there's a total different smell, isn't it? It is. It is. And the shelf life is tremendous. And with the herbs, yes, it's good to use natural we're still using natural with the oils but with the herbs you got to use them right away because right. other than that they go bad fast yes the oils are so potent that they beat the cost of buying the fresh oils because you only need a toothpick <laughs> yeah that's right to season with 
and the, again, like I said, the shelf life is tremendous. They're not going to go bad fast. If anything, they'll evaporate before they go bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's an oil that we need to add to our wellness heart health cabinet. Okay. Yes. So our next one is, is basil. Oh, basil. Okay. Talk to, again. Basil is um, one of those cooking oils that I like, but it is also good for the heart, as we have been talking. And I lost my notes. And while she's looking for her information, and I do apologize, <laughs> yes. I didn't put basil in the slide, but basil is one we wanted to include. And into it aromatically and topically internally is the way that we can use our basil <clears throat> as she said she likes janetta likes to cook with her basil most definitely <laughs> i um found a no need recipe for bread and i'll take a toothpick swirl and when i'm uh making sure my yeast is correct I'll add it to the yeast liquid at that point to add to the bread, to bake into it. It's pretty good. Wow. wow. So I have to that. Okay, so basil is gonna to help to lower that uh, LDL, or which is our bad cholesterol. So it's gonna yes. help us to reduce that stress on us that we have and also reduce that high blood pressure sugar so it's a great supporter for the uh, heart for our heart health. So if you like cooking, uh, our basil oil, our marjoram oil, they are great to use in your cooking. Uh, oh, yes, yes. So you could um, improve your heart on a daily basis using those in our cooking. So mm -hmm. now, as you see up on the slide, we want to talk about that's going to help with everything, the meta power because. Uh, MetaPower has said only 6% of Americans have ultimate um, heart health. Oh, so wow. that, that's kind of bad. That, that's, that's, that's really bad. That's really bad. And this MetaPower is designed to help with that heart health issue as long as well as other things. Meta is talking about our metabolism power. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, as, uh, acronyms for personal wellness realized because what we do need to realize is that our uh, metabolism can help with a lot of issues that are going on in our body. We uh, energy, we have weight issues, mood, sleep issues, clarity, and stress. All that is going on yeah. in our body. And and when we get older, we want to be able when I when I get a hundred because I'm going to get a hundred. When I get 100, I want to be able to walk around and do some of the things that I'm doing. Like I saw on a, a Tamara Hall show, I don't know how many people saw it, but I saw Chef, Chef uh, oh God, Chef, uh, what is her name? Uh, Bobette, Chef Bobette. Chef okay. Bobette, she's from California. She's a 72-year-old woman. And she oh, wow. came in the 72 years old and just as slim as she wants to be, had on this beautiful fitting dress along with these high heels that I never see myself in. <laughs> <laughs> and she got down on the floor and did plank for, uh, well, she normally does her plank, I believe, for 10 minutes, but I oh, think she wow. did it on the show for about six minutes. I want to be like that woman when I reach her age or even older. I don't want to have to be in a nursing facility where people are going to have to take care of me. And MetaPower is designed to help us with that. So Jeanette is going to tell us about MetaPower products. Yes. And you, uh, you saw the picture on the screen. The foundation of MetaPower is that big bottle. It's a soft gel. And the two items to the side mm -hmm. It was uh, beetlets and the oil, the actual Meta Power Blend oil, which is in all of those products, as well as the Society Gum. 
Society gun. Society. Society. Thank you. Um, those three you need to help you control your appetite. All right. So if you're using the oil, you're going to put drops of water, it you're going to add it to your water, which is in a glass or a stainless steel container. Always no plastic, no paper, because the oils will break down the chemicals of that container and it'll leach into what you're drinking. Or if you're uh, not fond of doing it in your water, take a soft gel. If you're quick, gotta go, gotta go, don't have time to reach for your soft gel, keep your beadlets in your purse pocket, pop a few of those, it'll help you along in curbing that appetite. The next piece of MetaPower is another capsule and it's our assist that you're going to use with the largest meal of the day. Okay. And that helps control your blood sugar, sugar level and keep you from crashing. That's not good when your when our blood sugar spikes like that, it goes up, uh, good energy. And then suddenly it crash. It's like stomping on the brakes in the middle of your drive of your car. You don't want to do that every day. The next uh, piece of our uh, meta power is our collagen. Now, most store bought collagens is all about the beauty, which we love. We do like to mm-hmm. have healthy skin, looking good. But doTERRA took it a step further. We also have the collagen ingredients that you need to help with your joints and your ligaments, which is means you have vitality <laughs> a lot longer. Yes. <laughs> You'll be able yes. to move, yes. you know. So, and all of our products, believe it or not, taste good. Now, to help balance that out, we have our LLV, which is our lifelong vitality. And that's our vitamins. And our, um, because even if we're eating healthy every day, you're not going to get all the vitamins and the minerals that we need. We cannot consume enough food for that. Right. <laughs> we just can't. So our vitamins are the healthiest sub, uh, supplement to use. As a matter of fact, it's our number one selling product. Yes. And if you are not happy with it, we turn it after 30 days. doTERRA will give you back your money. All right. It's an awesome product. Yes. So you could get both of those, either one of those. Or I know it's it's probably not uh, easy for you to get both at the same time. But if you start off with your uh, MetaPower system, you'll get enrolled into doTERRA where you get all your products at a discounted price. And then you can later on add your vitamins onto it. But let's change our health style. So now we want to talk to you about doTERRA as a company. So we want to tell you three, three cool things about doTERRA's oils. Three cool things. Let me think. Ah, the first one is that it's safe. Okay, it's 100% natural. There's no added ingredients into our oils. They come from the stems, the roots, the leaves. It's all natural. We are CPTG, which is certified, pure, tested, and we're still therapeutic, grade oils. Okay, our oils, um, like our peppermint oil is 50 to 70 uh, times more potent. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to put some peppermint oil on my chest. More <laughs> potent than the uh, natural herb. It's equivalent. One drop of our peppermint oil is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. All right. Let's see. I said safe. They are effective. Effective in the sense that in, uh, as of modern medicine. 
I would like for you to think of our essential oils as any over-the-counter medication, as you would cough medicine, uh, aspirin. You would take it every four hours or as your body tells you. Same with the oils. Now, for effectiveness, if you have a cold, you would go and get you nothing because the doctor can't do a thing for that virus, okay? But we have a oil that will help you with that virus. Now, if you had a bacterial infection, he would give you some antibiotics. And you know that bacteria lives outside of the cell, whereas your virus has invaded the cell. And we don't want either one of them that's too close for comfort. So we have a blend called On Guard, and actually On Guard is so awesome, it's taken off on its own product line. You can mm-hmm. wash, got wash detergent, we got hand sanitizer. But the On Guard would help with the support of the losing of the virus and the bacteria. It is affordable. Now, I'm going to show you affordability because If you get sick, say you have an earache, you got to take time off to go to the doctor. Now you've lost pay. You got to take the bus that costs you, or you're going to drive, gas costs you. You're going to pay for a park if you drive, that costs you. When you get there, he's going to write a prescription. That's Mm -hmm. going to cost you, okay? Now, I have an earache. I reach in my little medicine cabinet, and I pull out my lavender and my tea tree or melaleuca and put them together, rub it around the bone of my ear and 12 hours later, I'm feeling good. I've only spent 64 cents. So, wow. Can't beat it. What a statement. You can't, can't beat it. it. affordable. Very affordable. So now let me tell you how we're going to use those affordable oils. So first way is aromatically. Who thought sense of smell being great? If you go to a doctor or dentist and you have to be put under, he puts a mask over your face and uh, put some synthetic compound in there and tell you to breathe in. And a few minutes later, you're going to sleep. What has happened right here just above your nose is what we call affecting nerve. And it runs a quick connection to the back of the middle of our head to what we call the limbic center, which told our brain what to do. So they have diffused that synthetic compound to tell your body what to do. Well, that's how powerful the oils are. We put those oils, sniff them or cuff your hands, put them over your nose and breathe them in or put them in a diffuser. You are doing amazing, sending amazing message to your body and telling your body what to do. You could affect your mood and it is great also for your respiratory system. So aromatically first, topically, our body, our skin is one of our big largest organs. So putting it on topically mm-hmm. is a great thing to do. So we could put it on topically in several places, depending on the issue. First thing in the morning, we would like for you to anoint your head. Anoint your head with frankincense if you can, because that is the most powerful oil there is out there. And it's going to, uh, uh, it's our computer and it's going to affect our hormones as well. And then the next place is our navel. Who would have thought our navel would be a great place to put the oil, but we were attached to our mom. We got nutrition when we were born through there. So yes, it is a great place to put those oils at. Our spine and back around our spine, It's connected to our nervous system and to every single organ in the body. What a great place. We have a protocol called Symphony of the Cell. And then the most important place is our foot. Our foot, if you ever saw a foot reflexology chart, it shows every organ in your body. Every organ is attached to that foot and is represented. So if you want to touch that heart, which we do, it shows you where you could put the oils on for that heart, uh, for the brain at the tip of your toes. Put it Put oils on the tip of the toes if you need uh, brain support or heart or lung, stomach, whatever. And our oils that we can take internally have, um, I, I should say that, uh, supplemented facts on it. Now, back to taking internally. Yes, doTERRA oils are the only ones I'm talking about taken internally. 
Uh, we have to take them in a glass or stainless steel container because if you use a plastic or anything else, they will leach the chemicals. And not only that, it burn a hole into, into them. So those are the three ways to use the oils. Aromatically, topically, and eternally. So now we're going to tell you how to get them in your home, Janetta. Tell them. Yes. The, there are three ways that you can get the oils into your home. And of course, the most expensive way is retail. And you run into the oils if you were at a spa or on a cruise ship. And you might decide to break down and purchase it. Nah, don't do that. The next way would be wholesale. And it's like your Costco or your Sam's Club. You have uh, a membership and then you can get a discount for all the products that they sell within their stores. The best way that Brendan and I like to uh, purchase is mm -hmm. wholesale with LRP. And that is our loyalty rewards program. And you get the 25% discount off of your retail. Mm -hmm. But doTERRA is going to love on you when you make uh, a commitment to make a purchase at a certain amount. They you should say, oh, okay, and throw you a free oil or you end up with free shipping. Also, with this, we have different kits that um, maybe if you didn't see the Meta Power or anything else that we were talking about today, we do have other kits that will help you on your journey. Do contact us at 4 visions for oils at gmail.com so we can help you get these oils into your home. Okay, so now why do they and why now? It's because it is the largest essential oil company in the world. And then, like we said, it's most trusted oils on the market. They're used by doctors and in hospitals as well. They're ethically and sustainably sourced. When I say that, they're grown in areas where they're supposed to be grown by little farmers. And we work directly with those farmers so that we make sure we're getting the best product. And we're supporting and giving them a better lifestyle for them. And there are we in over 120 plus markets and the compensation plan is such an awesome plan. If you want to do what Miss Janetta and I do and work in this business, yes, we got it. High retention rate. People love our products so much. Even if they're not working the business, they're going to stick with the product. We have a 70% loyalty to the product. It's a privately owned company and we had this magnificent team of seven people, which complete says completion for me and it is also a debt-free company so those are the greatest things and if you want to share the oils with us uh help us share this oils we are gladly uh allow you to do that all you need to kind of do is contact us at four fishes for oils at gmail.com and and we <laughs> could set it up via zoom or whatever we need to do to get started so all right it's been a joy sharing this information with you, hasn't it, Ms. Janetta? <laughs> yes, it has been. And <laughs> sorry, my talking has run us almost out of time. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. So but we just want to go ahead. To, uh, part with you and let you know that your health is an investment and not an expense. And I want to leave you with this last scripture. It is your treasure is where, you, where is it? What is it? Your for treasure me. is where your heart is. For your treasure is where your heart is. Did I get that right? For where your treasure is, there your heart there, will be there, also. There your heart will be. And that was Matthew 6, 21, right? That's correct. Okay. So thank you for joining with us today. And... Let's start with that healthy heart. Amen. And enjoy your day. And we are, or else behind closed, closed, closed door. doors. Thank you. Views made on the preceding program are not those of WVTC Radio, iNetworks Communications, or their financial supporters. Winning victory through Christ.